Hello friends, have you ever heard your own heartbeat without a stethoscope? Heard the blood rushing through your veins, the subtle crack of your joints, the soft gurgle of your stomach digesting, even the faint sound of your eyelids blinking. This was not the kind of silence you get at night, not the silence you experience in deep meditation. This was something totally different that most people would never experience in their entire life. Absolute silence, almost zero decibels. Friends, I sat alone in one of the quietest rooms in India and just one hour inside that chamber changed how I see myself and the world. This is my story. but. More than that, this might just reflect your mind, your fears, and your deepest truths too. I had always been curious what happens when we remove every single external distraction. Friends, we live in a noisy world. Notifications, traffic, chatter, even when we are alone, we are scrolling, watching, or listening. So, I decided to do something extreme. I booked a session inside an anechoic chamber, a specially designed room that absorbs all sound. No echoes, no background noise, nothing. Let me tell you, it's really hard to get access to such chambers, especially for personal experiments. They are usually reserved for testing sensitive instruments. But somehow, with special permission and after assuring the authorities complete privacy, I was allowed a short session. You can find such chambers in a few private or government research facilities, but the level of silence I experienced is typically only available in high security government labs. And those are almost never open to the public. In fact, such rooms are so silent that you can hear your own heartbeat, your blood flow, even the sound of your eyelids blinking. Friends, I was scared, but curious. What would happen when the outside world goes silent? What comes up when there is nothing left but you? And then the moment came. I walked into the chamber. The door closed behind me with a heavy thud. Suddenly, it felt like I had stepped out of the world and into another dimension. No sound, no signal, no sense of space even. The walls absorbed everything. I could no longer sense distance properly because echoes help our brain measure the distance. And here, there were none. I sat down on a small chair in the center, took a deep breath, and within first few minutes, I started hearing strange things. A faint whooshing like water in a pipe. It was my blood flowing through the vessels near my ears, something I had never heard before. Suddenly felt loud, then a rhythmic thump not from outside but from within my own heartbeat loud steady almost echoing in my chest then the high pitched ringing in my ears begin not from any machine or phone but from silence itself scientists call this phantom sound perception your brain starts inventing noise to fill the unbearable stillness it's known as auditory hallucination but it didn't stop there. My stomach suddenly gurgled, long, hollow, and sharp. Not from hunger, but because in silence, digestion sounds become vivid. Then a soft crack, my knee joint, just from shifting slightly. A click in my jaw, a tiny pop in my shoulder. Even the sound of my saliva swallowing became noticeable louder than anything outside. I even heard the faint friction of my fingers as they rubbed together. 
like the sound of sandpaper, something we never pay attention to in daily life. Friends, it was surreal. My body, which I thought was silent, was now noisy, and the silence around me made it all feel magnified. No distractions, no filters, just my body, speaking in sounds I had never listened to before. It was like I had stepped into a different world, a world where every internal process was exposed and my brain, it had stopped listening outward and had started talking to itself. Now here is the thing, outside we blame noise for our distractions, but in silence I realized the real noise is inside, within, thoughts started flooding in. Old memories, embracing moments from childhood, fears I thought I had buried, even regrets I forgot I had. It was like my brain opened a closet and everything I had hidden came crashing out and I couldn't escape. No phone, no music, no friend to distract me, just me and my mind. I suddenly understood what neuroscientists mean when they say the brain is a prediction machine that hits a vacuum when there is nothing to react to it starts digging into the past or imagining the future i saw just how uncomfortable i am with being still in absolute silence friends about 20 minutes in my body started to react my heart began to beat faster my breathing grew shallow. I started feeling itchy, restless, even slightly panicked. There was no danger, but my body felt like I was trapped. That's because silence activates a part of the brain called the amygdala, the fear center. And when the mind has no data coming in, it starts preparing for threats, even in peace. The body prepares for war. That realization hit me like a wave. We are so used to noise that peace feels like a threat. Around the halfway mark, something shifted. It's hard to describe, but my thoughts started slowing down. Instead of a flood, they became ripples. Instead of reacting, I started observing. Instead of judging, I started witnessing. It was like watching clouds drift across the sky without needing to chase or change them. In neuroscience, this is linked to a state called default mode network deactivation. When the part of your brain that creates your sense of ego and identity starts to quiet down. In other words, the I, the me, the self begin to fade. And for a few precious moments, there was just presence, not joy, not sadness, just existence. Then something unexpected happened. I felt a sudden wave of sadness, not from any specific thought, but like a deep grief I had been holding for years, finally found a quiet space to speak. Maybe it was grief from the time I have lost chasing meaningless noise. Maybe it was grief for how far I have drifted from my true self. Maybe it was just the sound of my soul finally being heard. In that silence, I didn't resist. I let the tears flow. No judgment, no camera, no audience. Just me meeting myself. Friends, when the door finally opened after one hour, the outside world shouted at me. I stepped out and the hum of the air conditioner felt like a loudspeaker. The sound of footsteps felt like thunder. The colors seemed more vivid. Even a simple breath felt scared. I had only been gone an hour, but it felt like I had returned from a different world. Believe me, that one hour taught me more than any book, podcast or lecture ever did. Here are my deepest takeaways. Silence is not empty. It is full of answers. 
we avoid silence because it reflects our truth without filters but that's where healing begins the mind is loud but it's not always right most of what i heard in that chamber was noise created by habit old fears old identities recycled patterns in silence i could see through the illusion we are scared of meeting ourselves that's why we fill every second with sound screens and stories because sitting with our raw self takes courage true clarity begins when the inner noise fades after the silence i felt lighter not because something magical happened but because i stopped caring what was not mine my dear friends you don't need a silent room to experience this a few minutes each day eyes closed no distractions just being still can slowly change your life if you are wondering was this all just emotional no here is what science says silence can regenerate brain cells a 2013 study in the journal brain structure and function found that two hours of silence per day led to cell development in the hippocampus the brain area related to memory emotions and learning it lowers cortisol the stress hormone just 2 minutes of silence can be more relaxing than soothing music according to studies from duke and harvard it boosts creativity the best ideas don't come when we are scrolling or rushing they come in the quiet gaps in the shower or a walk or in a moment of stillness so here is my invitation to you can you sit with yourself in silence for just 10 minutes today no phone no music no meditation technique just you your breath and whatever comes up it might feel uncomfortable at first but if you stay you might just meet the real you the one beneath the noise friends most people are running from silence but maybe silence is not the enemy maybe it's the doorway to healing to self awareness to truth i went into that silent room thinking i would get bored but what i found was my mind my truth and a version of me that was always waiting to be heard so try it let silence speak and you will never see noise the same way again would you dare to sit with yourself in silence tell me in the comments i am reading all of them and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel engineering made easy for more such insightful mind experiments thank you for watching